leaders, that demonstrates you as somebody with great values, fit for leadership? I have tremendous respect for all Kenyans and all Kenyan leaders. I do not, I have not in any way um, undermined the public standing of any leader or any person or any Kenyan for that matter. I have not called anybody Washenzi. I have not called anybody Takataka. I, I, I'm, I'm just a... Kitendawili? Huh? Kitendawili? I mean, is Kitendawili an insult? Ganga. Huh? Is, uh, I think we have all come, come to, uh, to understand what Kitendawili means. Mr. Deputy President, there's public perception that associates you with a rather good appetite for acquisition of property, particularly land. And this has been mentioned many times. Questionable acquisition of land, this has been said publicly, Taita Taveta in Transmara, the former vice president's house, the late Joseph Murumbi, and others. In fact, there was a conviction in court with regards to 100 acres of land that you were ordered to surrender back to its rightful owner and also pay some reparations. Does this public perception affect you? For your information, that's why I am proposing in our manifesto to deal firmly and squarely institutionally with a fight against corruption because allegations are made left right and center any piece of land that i have is legally acquired in fact i think we need to discuss the mutashi land you've talked about uh, the 100 acres i was a victim of fraudulent sellers of that land what the court ordered me to do was to pay for the three years I had occupied the land. And they calculated and said the income from this land would be approximately five million shillings for three years. And that's what I paid. The people who sold the land to me were taken to court for fraudulently selling the piece of land to me. Those people are in court. The Tabeta, Tabeta, my question was, Oh, the Taveta land issue. There was that. There's a Taveta, there's Taveta Western land Hotel, issue there's Transmara. Is... As a person, yes. As a person, what does this make you feel when you hear that there's all this public perception about you and irregular acquisition of land? You see, acquisition of property is a legitimate endeavor. How you acquire it. If it is legitimate, you've paid value for it. And I want to tell you, I have paid value for any property that I have. Maybe the whole story is uh, like everything else that has been said. And all manner of allegations have been raised about many people. You know, uh, my competitor, Dominion uh, land has been uh, mentioned about him. Molasses land, so many other pieces of land. Does that, dis does that make you guilty? Not at all. I think the presumption of innocence and the fact that I can stand up to scrutiny, and for your information, I am probably the politician in Kenya that has been audited left, right, upside down, inside out. Uh, on any matter, you know, and uh, maybe because I have raised my head beyond what many people think I should. If I was a quiet business person, I am sure I wouldn't attract the same kind of uh, um, um, labeling that I've been subjected to. 
How much is enough? Enough is enough. Mr. Deputy President.